Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Owl's Awakening. There's a couple of things I just noticed uh, while I was setting up for this episode. So first of all, on the map, you can see the number of orbs collected. Um, and as you go th scroll through, it'll actually highlight different areas for you so you can see which section is which. Um, also in the lower left, you'll see that we have a level counter. So maybe 99 gets you a level, or maybe you spend some of them to get a level. I don't know. Um, but there definitely seems to be a level structure in the game as well, so that's pretty curious. It would explain how you get more powerful versus the protectors. Alright, we're not gonna deal with you, Matt. Uh... I think if I go down here, it's a dead end. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, we can't, we can't do these purple blocks yet. The underground chamber is to the right. We didn't figure out what this copper coin- you know what? I didn't actually talk to everyone in town, did I? Maybe I should do that before I go any further. Um, and we can figure out what this copper coin does, perhaps. We should really do that. We can go- oh, I was gonna say, we can kinda take an easy path back here. Have to deal with this Joker. Fortunately, we can kind of stunlock enemies. Give me a little bit of a Star Tropics feeling there. That's gonna hurt me. Yep. Oh, and that's gonna kill me. <laughs> you know what I'm actually really surprised about is that there's no um, there's no warp in town. Kind of strange, isn't it? You'd think the town, if if anywhere was gonna have a warp, the town would. So hopefully it won't take me too long to get back to town here, because we got a lot of things to do. That actually hit me between his uh, stun lock there. Alright, jump down there. Is this back in town? Yes. Now hopefully coming back here serves a purpose. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how we get the... Uh, bottle for the water, which I'm assuming is like a health potion. Oh, there is a safe point here. I forgot about that. I actually probably shouldn't have hit that to be honest, but... No, I haven't. Hmm, that stare too long at the light. <clears throat> That's really strange. Uh, I'm guessing that we don't have uh, anything to do with this coin right now. Mm -mm. No, I guess not. Well, that's okay. We'll head back here. Again, if I hadn't hit the save point, I could have just warped back, but... Oh well. Take a quick little journey back here. I wonder where that flask is. I'm kind of feeling like we should have found it by now. But I don't know. I think I kept moving there. Yeah, we don't have to deal with this guy this time, but he will throw... Looks like he throws in uh, sets of three. Oh, you know what? That's interesting. I, I wonder if they put that there. So, like, you figure, you know, well, you can't make the jump down there, so you're gonna put a block over here to try to make this jump, but you can't make that jump either, and you'll end up either putting it through the wall or accidentally pushing it and realizing, then, that there is, um, the invisible wall. I bet that's exactly why that's there, and if that is true, that is super clever. That is actually a really good game design. I appreciate that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, we can totally get this. Oh! Just touched the side of that, and I actually triggered it falling. There we go.
Yeah, so let me curious to see if either 99 or 100 gives you a level, or if you eventually have a play a way to spend them. I don't know. You go a number of ways. Another double block puzzle. There we go. Hmm. Oh, jeez, I didn't think that was uh, wide enough to hit me there. So, can the purple button just be pressed from distance? Yes. Oh. Wait, is that how all purple buttons are pressed? You know what made me think about that is just that we're purple? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if that is how all purple buttons are pressed, or did I just need to jump on the other ones and I didn't realize it? That'd be a little embarrassing. <clears throat> oh! That's not what I expected. Is he gonna come back? I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Oh my. There's a blue orb here to get. Don't mind if I do. Uh, unless I do that, in which case... We will not be getting it, uh, for a while. Because <laughs> I don't know how to get back there. Bummer. I must be able to... Okay, I can bounce or I can stand in the bubbles temporarily. May have to do some uh, blue orb collection... item collection video here at some point. A uh, number of ways to go. another well. Solstice Mountain, Underground Chamber, Gloom Lake. Uh, Gloom Lake is like the final area that guy was talking about. Can't do anything there. What about this way? Uh, yes, but I want to see what's down here. Does that, uh, platform go all the way over? No. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know how to get that. We can certainly get this, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, so every 10 gives you a level. Got it. I wonder if that just gives me more damage? We'll have to find an enemy that takes two hits to find out, but we are level one now. That definitely puts uh, some serious importance on getting those orbs as soon as possible. Didn't increase my health though, maybe I never get more than three health. I mean, it's not like there's more room in that section unless that thing to the right is, um, like, lives or something, basically. Another orb here. Now this mage took three hits before, right? So we'll be able to tell here. No, it doesn't seem... I don't know. Oh, there's another orb. Nice. It's curious, though, if it's... Can it... Maybe it increases, because it can't be every 10, because then if you get 99, you would have, you know, you'd be short one for the next level. Yeah, I wonder exactly what that does. 
Gloom Lake. Uh, Gloom Lake is supposed to be like... Yeah, this is... We don't want to be here yet. We'll talk to this lady, though. Entrance to the last challenge of your journey. In the power of the protectors. Uh, yes. Vicious Keeper, we destroyed. The sea Monk. Oh, just east from here. Okay, good. Crimson Guardian. Void Tower. And the Beholder. Some sort of hidden passageway. Alright. Interesting that there's spikes under there. So this must be the uh, the shrine of the sea monk here. Elevator. Oh, uh, I definitely can't go any further right here. Let me check something real quick here. Okay. I want to make sure. I have an odd setup on the, the new PC right now. Still setting up a couple of things. I wanted to make sure that everything is good to go. So this is the Shrine of the Sea Monk. Uh, you know, I had the feeling there was a hidden passage right here. Can't do anything here, though. But I was gonna say, like, you wouldn't be able to see through the back facing of that, but it looks suspicious. Oh, hello there. Hey, there's a flask. Uh, no. Okay. Take a look at this coin. Grumble, grumble. Oh. Oh, now what I was looking for, you can keep it. Huh. Yeah, so there's the flask. I bet how many times you can fill this with water, so maybe that's basically our heart container. So if we die, maybe we auto drink the flask. Oh, jeez. Ride these bubbles up. Now the question is, where do I find some water here? We can do that. What does that do for me? Yeah, there's some sort of critter hiding out there. Oh, wait a minute. I have to somehow press these both at once? But how would I... Yeah, how would I do that? So the green one, uh, I mean, this here has to be... Oh, okay, this is actually really easy. Gotta go across here. If we do this... I was way overthinking it. And we do one of these, and this will open the door. Nice. So, it was a little triumphant before that actually happened. Um... And definitely might not have, so. Alright. Oh, jeez. Curious what is up here. Oh, okay, so this is... Oh, but the door is closed. How would we... I don't know. Hmm, that's something, a puzzle we can't solve yet, I think. 
Boy, these statues, the uh, the ones that just fire multi-directional are really difficult. There's another thing we can't quite get. Hmm. But we have a save point here. Uh, that'd be a good stopping point. Let's go a little further. Oh. Again, this is this is much too high for where I can jump to right now. We must be getting a, another jumping power. But maybe we can stack more blocks or something. It's definitely a, another traversal power up must be coming soon. Uh, hidden wall somewhere here? I mean, it's gotta be, obviously, but the question is, where is it? It'd be nice to find a well here, too. I'm guessing we'll be able to make more blocks? Not quite sure how that's gonna work, but... A lot of spikes here as well. There we go, there's a hidden wall. That's 14, getting uh, almost halfway to the next level already. Not that we really know what it does, but. Okay, Mega Man, settle down here. Let's not fall, just in case these are insta-kill. Oh, actually, I don't think I could escape from there anyway, even if they weren't. There's that lightning door again. So maybe that's my next uh, power-up? I don't know. Be a lot of things. Uh, I don't think there's a way for me to get there. I should probably hit the save point. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Heard there's a flask. Yes. I got it, in fact. Uh, can't go... Yeah, so can't put... Green blocks on those spikes. Kinda of pushing my luck here, by the way. <laughs> go a little further on this. I'm looking for areas that would like connect. Maybe get like power-ups and stuff like that instead of progressing forward. Like, um... We've already been in this room, right? Yeah. So that's just a way back. What's over here, for example? Oh, a key. Oh, where was the locked door? Geez, maybe I'll have to find that. Maybe this is a good stopping point, because I actually don't remember where that locked door was. It's not on my map, is it? I know I've come across it. So maybe we'll do that next time. I'll just save here. Boy, these episodes go by fast. But yeah, so that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. Help us out a bunch. Subscribe for more. And uh, check out the game. The link below. See you soon.